Hey everyone, I'm Angela, and today we're going to go through another linguistics Olympiad problem, originally from Moscow Traditional Olympiad of Linguistics 2001, and is now one of the sample questions on the International Linguistics Olympiad website. We are going to go through some of the little techniques and how we can approach this type of problems. Keep in mind, we don't have to know anything about the language, but through simple logic, we can figure out the unknowns here. Basque numbers. Looking through the problem, we can see a series of equations written in Basque numbers. We are asked to fill in the gaps. Okay, please pause here if you want to try yourself and then listen to the explanation. Please note that I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce Basque numbers, so I'll just try my best. We can see on the screen a lot of equations, right? With equation problems, we have to keep in mind that different languages have different numerical systems. In other words, bases. For example, we normally use the decimal system that uses a notation in which each number is expressed in base of 10. Like we have numerical digits up to 9. Different languages can have different bases. The most common ones are base 10, base 8, base 16 and base 2 which is also called a binary system, which is the base most computers operate by. Base 10 is by far the most common one. Let's label the equations first. Since we're not sure which base this language system is in, we can employ a little technique. If we see a combination of two single words, we can happily think that they are either added up together or multiplied together or both, and very likely to be a two-digit number. In this case, Hogeta Hamar, Hogeta Boast are very likely to be two digits. Furthermore, the power or multiple of the base number has a simplified way to write. For example, in base 10, 10 squared is 100, 2 times 10 is 20. 100 and 20 are both the simple ways to write. So looking at this problem here, we can first see that the result of equation 5, 6 and 7 all have the number root of hoge and the combination of two words. Therefore, we can infer that 5, 6 and 7's results are two digit numbers and that hoge is probably a multiple of the base number. We can see that there is a lot of sing different single words like by, boast, hammer, hero, zaspi, etc. Therefore, we can make an educated and logical guess that the language system is probably in base 10. Hoge is probably either 10 or 20 or 30. We can confirm if this is right by counting the digital numbers in a second. Now we'll continue with this assumption. So we'll move on. We can certainly tell that by and law are both single digit numbers, assuming in base 10. So there are only two possibilities, which are 2 times 2 equals 4, or 3 times 3 equals 9. So let's try it out. I will start with 2 times 2 equals 4, because if law equals 9, then in equation 10, the resultant number will be massive. Therefore, if by is 2, then law is 4. Now we can try out hoge as either 10 or 20 or 30. If hoge is 10, then hammer must be 5. However, 2 times a whole number, boss, equals 5 is impossible, so hoge must not be 10. So, let's try 20. If hoge is 20, then hammer must be 10, therefore boss is 5. Okay, until now, everything is working. Now, the next step confirms that all our assumptions are correct. In equation 4, we have hero times burst equals hammer burst. Now, what can you see from this equation? We now know that burst is 5, hammer is 10. We can easily infer that hammer burst is 15 in the form of 10 plus 5. Therefore, hero must be 3. We also know that everything we did until now is all correct because only multiplying something by 5 will possibly give you a two-digit number ending with the same digit that it is multiplied by. So moving on, equation 5 further confirms it as 3 times 10 equals 30 and we can happily tell that hoge to hammer is 30 as one number means 20 and the other means 10. 
therefore they are added together. Furthermore, in equation 6, we can see 5 times 5 equals 25, using the same logic of addition for the result. At this point, we should be able to identify that ta has no meaning but only serves as a combination tool to tell you there's a number after it. So, we can first skip equation 7 and equation 8 and jump to equation 9. In equation 9, we have an unknown, das b. We know that it is something times 10 equals hirurogeta hammer. Now, we have to evaluate the hirurogeta hammer. We know we have three different numbers here in a combination. It is 3, 20 and 10. Remember to check out in the footnote. They have given you the information that the letter H is mute, which explains why it is rogator, not hogator. Now, to make it a multiple of 10, the only way is 3 times 20 plus 10, which gives you 70. Therefore, Zaspi must be 7, knowing that 7 times 10 equals 70. So, moving on to equation 10, we can easily solve it because we know law is 4, Bost is 5, and the answer must be 20, which is hoge. Be careful not to add the ta, because remember, it only serves to connect, but has no real meaning. Now, going back to equation 7 and 8, we can easily tell that it is 5 times 7 equals 35, and 7 times 9 equals 63. Equation 11. Something times 10 equals lorogeta hammer. Using this way we previously identified, there are three different numbers, 4, 20, and 10. And similar to above, 4 times 20 plus 10 is 90. So the something must be 9, which from equation 8 we know is Bederazzi. So now we finished all of question 1. Let's make a summary table in order for us to figure out question 2 and 3. So, we now know that 2 is by, 3 is hero, 4 is law, 5 is bost, 7 is zaspi, 9 is bedderati, 10 is hammer, and 20 is hoge, and the two below rules. With the two asterisks, you don't have to figure them out exactly to answer the question, but you need to know the difference between hoge ta and hoge and the purpose of letter ro instead of ho. When doing these types of questions, I really recommend to make a table, especially many IOL questions require you to give explanations. Now, let's move on to question 2a. From question 1 equation 11, we know that lorogator means 80. Following the pattern in question 5, we know that hamahiru is 10 plus 3, therefore answer is 80 plus 13, which is 93. For 2b, we know that there are hiru and roge, which are 3 and 20. Using the same structure above, we know that it is 3 times 20, which is 60. Moving on to question 3, 39 in Basque numbers. Here, we need to use the limited information to create this number. We only know numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, and 20, and the structure of this language. Therefore, 39, using the same structure, could be separated as 20 plus 19, which will be Hogeta Hama Betarati. Don't forget the ta here, as there is a number after it. 77. Using the same system, we can get 3 times 20 plus 17, which is Hirurogeta Hamazaspi. And 80 will be 4 times 20, Loroge. Now we figure out all the unknowns. This is one of the sample questions on the IRL website, and it is quite an easy numerical system question. We'll go through some harder ones, including questions in different bases in other videos. Thank you for watching and hope you've learned something new and figured out the logic behind linguistics.